Oh, we all did. I'm going to go to Spencer, because I think Spencer played a Halo game. Am I right? That's true. So Spencer's going to go first today. Yay. I played... Clap for Spencer. Clap for Spencer, everybody. Hold on. The game that I Uh, played... I was going to play a sound effect, but I'll get in trouble for that. Okay. The game that I played was... Halo Wars 2. All right. Yay. There you go. So <laughs> I, I react. I'd never played Halo Wars 1. Um, I skipped straight to 2. Give me the best. What? How, how will you know what's happening? <coughs> I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, you know, it's, it was interesting because I remember when Halo Wars came out, the world was a different place and like back then I feel like it was representative of video game elitism at the time um consoles and PC were way further apart not just in terms of clientele but in terms of specs in terms of a lot of things and it was sort of it was like unheard of that you would have an RTS on console it was it was almost like a joke. And I remember this game specifically coming out. They're like, of all of the RTSs that you would do a, a console like RTS for, you would lit- you would seriously put Halo Wars on console. Like this was their opportunity to go on PC. And they're like, nope, we're doing Xbox. <laughs> That's our thing, and we're sticking to it. And everyone's just like, you crazy motherfuckers. So Bungie did it. They they released a console RTS, and I believe, um, I believe it actually did okay. Like it was generally well received, which I was really surprised about. And um, I don't know if you can play them on PC now. I assume you can, and you could yeah. probably use yeah. mouse and keyboard. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to play Halo Wars 2 in the way that it was probably originally designed and play it as a console experience. And so I did. I booted this up on my Xbox Series S. Um, and here's my experience playing an RTS with a controller, which seems to be blasphemy. I was, you know, I played um, Age of Empires. I was big into World of, or uh, not World of Warcraft, Warcraft 3. So I am I do have a history with RTSs and I was just completely fascinated with what how do you translate this to a controller? And it's okay. It's um it was interesting. The game graphically as the cutscenes will show you <laughs> the game looks incredible. Like with the cutscenes that they build, they're like Halo brand quality. They're very, very good. They're up there with like Blizzard qu- quality. Um, you can tell there's a budget for it. It was really impressive. Once you get out of a cutscene and are into the actual game, um, the game has an aesthetic that looks okay from a distance. If you zoom in, it looks really bad. Like I'm saying, like. N64. Free to play almost. Like, yes. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting. Yes. Close up. This is not good. This game. <laughs> this game is a Monet, as they say. Um, look at it from a distance. Do not look at it too close because you will your world will be shattered, I assure you. Um gameplay wise, they did a decent job of making it playable on a controller. Obviously, things on it are quite dumbed down i would say from your traditional um pc rts they have a quick button if you double tap the right bumper you'll select all of your units so that i can certainly appreciate um they do have an expander so you can hold the select button and pull it out so you can select units in a group it's worth noting too that units are in groups um they're not really one unit if you have like a unit of marines it's like i think it was like three or four or something um the the 
the vehicles were single unit, but um, I liked the level progression. Um, you would take your your units from your base and try to conquer the map. As, which is pretty standard for RTSs, but it let you hit a lot of outposts along the way. So you could do like miniature goals being met. And it made you, it helped you expand your troops faster. You could set up bases. Seemed a little rudimentary, but I was, I didn't, I played a couple missions. So I don't want to say that I got to the end. Um, I have beaten some bosses, uh, which I'll talk to you about in a second. Um, the base creation seemed very minimal and simplistic. I'm assuming they expand on it later. But as it was, it was serviceable. Um, let's talk about the bosses a little bit. Bullet sponges. Um, they start out with heavy armor that you have to chink down. And then you can start attacking their, them in, in their health. Uh, a lot of just waves and waves of me supplying enemies. Because these bosses could just decimate my units with like one hit. So not the most thrilling, thrilling boss fights. But they were serviceable and kind of what you would expect from halo the rts as a whole package i have to say i was impressed that they were able to translate it so well into um console rts but i don't think i would be persuaded to continue as opposed to mouse and keyboard but a good try interesting and you play this on pc is it possible mm -hmm. Prob yeah. I, okay, good. I didn't check because, but uh, yeah, I'm sure you, you, you can play both of them now. They both have PC releases. Okay, so you can play with the mouse and keyboard. Yeah. I would assume so. I mean, okay, so you just wanted better. to suffer. Well, yeah, I wanted well, to see because I never played it back <laughs> in the day. I wanted to see what it was like to play it the way they intended. The way God intended. <laughs> the way God, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've played the original Halo Wars back in. 2009 or whatever the hell it came out mm -hmm. um and i remember liking it but i'm not that big in rts games anyway but uh that one was fine i haven't i do have this one but i haven't played it is this uh three for three or is it a different studio three for three they did it that's scary that explains the bullet sponge enemies because if you ever play halo four or five oh boy they love their bullet sponge enemies <laughs> 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 Ooh, uh, that's concerning does this, uh, like, Halo lore time, does it have anything that, like, where does it fall? Does it have anything to do with Halo lore? Is it, like, yeah. you know? Like, you, like are, are, are you playing as Master Chief? Are you playing as just, like, <coughs> you do not Spartan, play... make Spartan, Spartan make Spartan pants number five or something? You don't play as one Spartan. You play as, like, a general. And oh, okay. you don't control, at least I didn't control Master Chief at any point. Um, it takes place... Your villains are the like elite monster looking guys. Okay. Uh they look so like big hairy guys. The big gorilla looking dudes? Yeah. Yeah. Um there were the covenant in it as well, but the the big baddies were the big elite furry gorilla guys. That could be that could be literally any time because three for three also fucked up because okay, Halo three was like the Covenant and the humans like make peace and they stop the the I forgot his name the 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 big guy then they stopped the the other guy from launching the thing and then Halo Four was like yeah but now there's like cultist covenant so we're just fighting the covenant again so I can't tell you when that when, when it happens <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's literally entire franchise now because they were like oh any any de any development they had in Halo Three it's all gone now <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alex can attest to this, but one of my favorite RTS games is a console RTS, um, Herzog Spy. Oh, In fact, yeah. basically every RTS I've played, I've not played for the story. I've just played for like fun, quick battles. Warcraft 3, you know, played for the battles. We played Air Mech together. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? Air Mech? Yeah, um, Air Mech Arena. And I like RTS games. Like from a strategy standpoint, um, and kind of just the engagement, like it, it kind of demands your full uh, focus and attention. But uh, would you say that like you really feel like this embodies the RTS experience like wholeheartedly, or 
you know, not at all, somewhere in between? Where do you stand? I would say somewhere in between. One of the big things with PC RTSs, which makes them so prolific, is macros. Um, the ability to use a keyboard to quick step through the base making process. Oh, of, yeah. Which Halo was like, had like none of that. I mean, I'm sure it, it had buttons that you could get to quickly, but nothing will beat a keyboard in terms of precision. It, it's not even close. Like, it's, it. I'm just trying to think, like, if you could even have a competitive version of this game, what it would even look like. And it just doesn't even, like, this compared to StarCraft 2 it would be a joke like it wouldn't even be they're not even in the same arena as, as far as complexity and, and, and how fast you'd have to be um no i just couldn't see this going beyond anything but like more than like um a, a novelty really of just like oh it's halo but it's an rts that's well, yeah, of- <laughs> I, I think i think that's i think that's smart to do it that way because of the Halo fan base anyway. Right. Because, you know, most of it probably is base Xbox players. So I think it is smart to handle it that way. That's that, To me, it sounds like a way, like, I mean, like Nintendo or somebody would probably handle it too, you know? Right. Like make a Pikmin. console experience. Yeah, 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 Pikmin. Well, I guess that kind of counts, yeah. Uh, so, you know, because I'm trying to think of, like, what other RTS games were even on 360. I think, like, Command & Conquer did some stuff, right? They had, like, some games on Xbox or something. I don't, I don't know. But... Yeah, there really there really wasn't much on 360, so it's like you you kind of get that you, you, some more Halo, and you get like some RTS gameplay, even though you know if it is like baby's first RTS, you mm-hmm. know, it's still you get you still get to scratch that itch in some way. Yeah. So yeah, if, if, well, even though I know you're talking about two, which was Xbox One, but still, even Same on thing. Xbox One, I I doubt there was a lot. You know. <laughs> so. Yeah, honestly, it, the game just made me want to play Halo more because I was like watching my characters shoot their, their little grunts, and I just like it'd be way more fun to just be playing Halo sure. too, shooting <laughs> the grunts. Like, I just get a lot yeah. more out of it, dude. I've had a blast, which which is I'm not talking about a Halo game today, but I had a blast playing the Master Chief Collection. And that's that's why I even chose this month. So I'm like, damn. That's fun, and yeah. So yeah, I, I I I can imagine watching the characters do things and being like, man, I wish I was I was just doing that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it would be cool. Halo's if- cursed in that way. <laughs> what do you mean? Like what? What other Halo like spinoff would be even comparable to the mainline games? Warthog Simulator. I mean, this is really the only spinoff. I mean, not counting like ODST or Reach, but even those are still the core gameplay just within like, you know, you play as different characters and settings. But in terms of spinoff, I think Wars is it, right? I th- no, 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 no. I think they had Spartan Assault, which was like a downloadable twin stick game, and it was not good. <laughs> they, they quickly scrubbed that from existence. <laughs> they were like, nope, it didn't happen. <laughs> you know what would be interesting would be like, a more full scale war game that they make where you could, you could literally zip between a first person shooter and an RTS, like uh, like get into the game as one of your, your characters, your Spartans. I think in terms of like spinoffs, I think um, gears did it really well with tactics. Mm -hmm. They basically made XCOM, which sounds like I'm putting it down. But I really like XCOM. Right, XCOM is fucking badass. <laughs> like I yeah, totally yeah. So don't. So all they all they did was took XCOM and just put it in ge- like like you play as like a whole new set of gears and it's like a prequel game and like the story is kind of interesting but it's also gear so who cares? So but like still it's like you're in the world of gears but it's XCOM. So like it's it's cool. So I something like that might work for Halo as well just because XCOM is fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And you can play XCOM with a controller easily. So. Right, because it's not live action. Yeah. It's more so. menus and turn-based, so a controller is just as feasible as a mouse and keyboard. There you go. Project XCOM zone. Halo. I'd be, I'd, I'd be pissed if we get a Halo XCOM before another XCOM. <laughs> 
that's weird. The the thing about XCOM is so strange is that like XCOM two came out, it was awesome. It's and like then twenty sixteen, right? Something like that. Twenty fifteen, sixteen, somewhere around there. Yeah, it's, it's been a minute. And they've made so many more XCOM X like XCOM ish games since it came out. Like we have Mario and Rabbids. We have uh, Gears Tactics. We have that like Midnight Sun game where it's like yeah. the the Marvel thing, like X Men. Yeah, Marvel. Yeah, it's so weird that there's like now just like kind of like Dark Souls created like the Souls like category. Quietly, there's like an XCOM like <laughs> category that nobody speaks about, but everyone kind of knows. None of them, none of them are as good. <laughs> right, none of them. Mario Rabbids is fun, but it's not as no. <laughs> no, yeah, it's not. So what do you call there. that? A com like, com X like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Twitter like, <laughs> X Life. <laughs> anyway, that's Halo Wars two. Interesting. Do you think there'd be a Halo Wars three? <coughs> yeah, you think so? Yeah, probably. I guess you know what they sort of did that recently. Um, not. Three for three, but uh, I, I want to say I don't know if they if they develop it, but I want to say Mojang did with Minecraft. They had that Minecraft Legends that came out like last year, yeah, and that's a RT that's a Minecraft RTS, but you could play it on PC or console, and that was confusing to me <laughs> why they did that. <laughs> More money, I, mean, I guess. I mean, I mean, the popular Minecraft, why not? But you know, still, it's like. I, t- I tried playing it on Xbox, and I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no thanks. Can't do RTS on, on there, so wouldn't have any fun. Gotcha. Spencer, if you're done, pass a sticky grenade. I pass it whoever you want to pass it to. I pass it over to Teddy. What? Hell yeah! I hate it with the stick. Yeah, <laughs> you have to run like the grunts do. You know, like they're like ah, and they get like a grenade stuck to them. They like flail their arms around. <laughs> Start speaking gibberish. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh shit! I just knocked everything off my shelf over here. Hey y'all! Don't forget to subscribe to them button mappers.